eight. Oh, I just whistled. Excuse me. Uh, I lived in Southern California, Santa Monica to be exact. I love lived in beautiful, beautiful Santa Monica. I want to go back. Trent Grisham. Yeah, do your research on... Do your research on the state of Illinois as a whole before you decide to move here because there's people leaving this state in mass. It's just taxes are high, corrupt politicians. I mean, as long as you move to not Cook County, you should be okay. I don't live in Cook County anymore. They call it Crook County. If you can get out of Crook County, you'll be you should be okay. I don't really know or understand politics too much, but. I'm starting to. I'm starting to see little things that make a difference. You know, that my kids are now in school and I'm paying property taxes and live in a subdivision, have a small business. I was waiting for him to say that. <laughs> I, was, I was seeing if he had his ears on. I always have my ears on. I'm not telling you to move here. I'm offering to give you employment should you move here. I live in a great little town. Awesome little community. It really is. And to think we ended up here because one day, Heather was... We were living in the city limits the time 
she was like, I think it's time for us to get out of the city. Just had our first kid. He was almost two. Marcus. And she found this house out here in a place called Elgin. And I looked on the map and it was like, where the hell is that? Iowa? Elgin? That was way outside the city limits. We drove out. Looked at the house. Wrote a letter to the realtor. Next thing I know, the house was ours. I don't know if I did or not. I needed your permission. There he is. That's a better picture of Danny Mendick. We didn't really get a good... Good view of Danny Mendick on the other cards, I don't think. Thomas, I'm looking for some Robert rookies for you, man. Sox logo is pretty easy to spot. Well, Ed, you lived in Crook County. <laughs> Ed was in Crook County. Ed, you were in displays. The way it just rained. God, I used to be terrified when it would rain like it is today when we lived in Skokie. In fact, we had two major floods while we lived in that house. Bye-bye. It's one of the biggest reasons we left. We we're like, we got to get out of here. <laughs> Good looking chin, strong lines, yeah. <laughs> Danny Mendick. We've pulled every other white sock except Robear so far. There's Wilson. It looks like a short print, but it's not. Glaber and Mike Trout. Oh, you do flood restoration? Whew. Flooding is really... Uh, Man, any disaster sucks, but it's like wind damage and hurricanes. It's over in, what, 15, 20 minutes? The wind goes away, dies down, or whatever, an hour. When your house starts to flood, you can't stop it. There's nothing you can do except watch your house turn into the river. Bryce Harper. The first one we had... It was trickling in through the basement. I could see it coming through little by little. And I could kind of put towels there and try to clock, you know, close it up. And really just change the carpet area where it came in a little bit. But the second time, there was, it was emergency. Get everything from the basement upstairs. It was like 3 o'clock in the morning at the time when it started. Black Border, 299, 1990s Decades. I just remember seeing all my son's toys that we got him. You know, he was only one and a half, two years old at that. I saw all of his little stuffed animals and all of his toys. And I was like, we are not losing those. I didn't even get all my cards first. I got all Brixton's toys and stuff, believe it or not. So I lost some cards. I definitely did.
There's one. I think that's the short print. Need my damn magnifying glass. It looks like 09. Or something. Maybe that is the regular one. Well, that's the base if it ends in a 99. <laughs> yeah, well, the town we were in is just right next to the river, first off. Like, literally, a couple blocks up is the Desplaines River. Just was bad. Should be a ten dollar card, fifteen dollars. Well, yeah, that is very true. I wasn't speaking about a tornado removing a house from its foundation. I was talking about a storm that you're weathering in your house as a storm is coming in. And you hear the lee or the branches hitting the side of the house and damaging your roof or breaking some windows. You know, like a big thunderstorm or something or even a hurricane in some places. But a flash flood, it's crazy. Nope, they wouldn't. You know why? Because they said that the water came up through uh, the sump pumps or something, and we didn't have the rider check to cover failing sump pumps. <laughs> I'm like, the sump pumps didn't matter, dude. It was coming in through the windows. It was coming in through the window wells and up through the, every drain in, in the house. So, yeah, they definitely didn't cover it. Nope. And then it took about three to four weeks for it to be remediated properly. And it was in, you know, summertime. We were just relegated to upstairs only. And then I was worried about my son. He was only one and a half. Just was sucky. Sucky. Oh, damn, J. Rye. Yeah, that's terrible, too. Like I said, any disaster, any disaster is horrific. Like that. I was just saying it because the first one we had, I was able to kind of control it a little bit. So then we just had to kind of change the carpet in my little office area that one time. So I was kind of hoping the next storm, that's how it would be, and it was complete. I had no control. It was like a geyser coming out of the uh, drains like in the laundry room area and sewage back up I mean it was terrible terrible it's like a monster it's literally like a monster coming to get you we're new parents we got a young son <laughs> oh man we've been through some shiat Tyson, did you guys have the dust storm out there? Uh. 
Brixton's all like enamored with this dust storm that was going through America or maybe still is. Ed, you got the AL East. Take it, Dominguez is not in here. They wouldn't put him in here. He ain't ready for tops. It's going to be a while. But when he is, OMG. How far off is that? Three years? Kid's 16 year old. They had to cut the drywall up about, I don't know, eight feet or so they cut it up. That's how high the water level was, six, eight feet. Trying to think why I got that damn payphone song stuck in my head. It's probably, I think I heard it on the radio this afternoon, obviously. Maroon 5 payphone. I'm at a payphone. Da, 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 da. Yeah, the dust storm. I don't know. Brixon was talking about it. He was telling me there was a dust storm somewhere in America. <laughs> and he was wondering if it was going to come here and could he see it. And then during the storm tonight, he was thinking, is this from the dust storm, Dad? I said, no, it's raining, son. Tyson's in, uh, what is it, Amarillo? And Tyson, what did Steve buy? Steve bought a dope collection of toys and stuff? I'm jealous. Did he buy? No fair. I saw something on the Book of Faces that about it. Is Carter updating the sheet tonight? Or does he not know how? Three left in the NBA countdown. Did you guys see what I got for uh, NBA buy-in to win? Ooh, ooh. Besides, I'm going to be giving away a Michael Jordan item a day. Michael a day. Win an MJ a day promotion is coming. Luis Robert. Maroon 5, Sugar Ray, and a Matchbox 20. Nice. When it's over. Da -da 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 -da. There's more Roberts in this than there was in the last one. Uh-oh, nice auto. Oh, it's a backwards. It's a short print. Break or fail. That is nice that they're backwards, so that's how we know. Thank you, Tops. I know no one's listening, but about time you guys did something like that. When it's over. You're going to win several Jordans? Well, I'm giving away a Jordan a day to some lucky people. When it's over. 
it's over. Ba -da -ba -da -da. Amy, did you see we got a Mendic tonight? We had a shiny Mendic. Here's another one if you want to see what he looks like. The man, the myth, the current legend, Danny Mendick. Mm -hmm. Nice. Severino. AL East is for Scorpio. Cool. <laughs> Such strong lines. <laughs> there he is. And this looks like the back of an auto card when they're autoed. Thought maybe it was some sort of a bonus auto. Josh Naylor. Josh Naylor? Well, that's really odd. It's a hardly newer. When it's over. Spectre's going to be dope, Ed. It's, you know how I roll around here. I put it out at a reasonable price for pre-sale. But when it comes out or I have to rebuy it, all bets are off. Mike, and are there parallels and stuff for these, or are these just what you get? Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. -mm 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 -mm. Chipper Green, number to 99. NL East, Michael Robe, the other Michael Robe. And a Javi Baez. Seems like they watered those down. They used to be pretty highly concentrated with superstar names. Thanks, dudes, for trying.